John Comerford is part of a powerhouse local law firm that leads the way in shaping asbestos law in New York State. This year, John adds his name to the firm that is Lipsitz, Ontario and Comerford. Congratulations, name partner. Thank you so much. Of course, you've been with the firm for so long and to add your name to what is a great firm doing amazing work for Western New York is helping people who do suffer from mesothelioma. Yes, mesothelioma, unfortunately, is a very aggressive cancer and the doctors call it a signature tumor. That means it's only caused by one thing, asbestos. And we're seeing, unfortunately, in Western New York, so many causes of mesothelioma. Obviously, there's the traditional setting of someone working in industry with and around asbestos getting it. We see that example. We're seeing women who launder their clothing, women and usually daughters, laundering their father's clothing in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s, developing mesothelioma. We're seeing environmental exposures, people who have the wrong zip code. By that, they were born into a zip code that happens to have a large industrial plant that's spewing out dangerous levels of asbestos. Another type of exposure we're seeing is mostly women who use cosmetic talcs, huge companies that were making and selling and distributing cosmetic talcs, baby powders, they knew the whole time that their product was contaminated with asbestos, dangerous levels of asbestos, and hid that from the public. So we're seeing all these women in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s developing mesothelioma who had no idea they were breathing in asbestos every day. It's just heartbreaking. It's just people getting on with their lives, doing their job, just and being affected by such a horrible, horrible thing. And you've done so much research. You know so much about this industry and you've been able to have great settlements for people. But you know, there's been a pandemic. In these cases, so often there's court conferences and there's depositions. We have two depositions going on next to me in our office today that's being done remotely. And we heard yesterday from a judge, if the courtrooms don't open up soon, Buffalo could be a pilot program, could be for one of the first Zoom trials. And what they're thinking about doing is having the lawyers and the judge in one courtroom and a courtroom next door. And this is very preliminary to consider having jurors spread out. And in a civil case, you have six jurors and usually two alternates. So you'd have eight jurors spread out more than 10 feet and they'd watch the trial uh, via Zoom, but we're trying to keep things moving. Uh, so many of our clients, they simply, Melanie, they don't have time to wait. We're trying to get creative. I say to the staff constantly, continue to be flexible and creative in going forward. And we have a large staff here and they've really worked so hard to keep the train on the tracks for all everyone in Buffalo who we have the, the benefit of representing. Amazing team at Lipsitz, Pontario and Comerford. If you have been affected by mesothelioma or you know anyone, they are the people to reach out to and they really can help you. You can see the number and contact details on the screen.